Random acts of kindness typically impact one or two people, but a group in Berks County is putting a smile on the faces of more than 35,000 people, and they're showing that being stuck between a rock and a hard place isn't necessarily a bad thing. You used to go to those places when you're younger, not just for what you can, you can drink. You meet people and you miss that. As Norm Brendel gets older, connecting with people is becoming more of a challenge, but age is not the only reason. Norman has a normal pressure hydrocephalus where there's too much pressure in the brain and it doesn't allow you to walk very well, it doesn't allow you to think very well. According to the Alzheimer's Society, it's a form of dementia, one of the only forms that is treatable. So the 86-year-old had surgery to help correct the condition. After treatment, his daughter, Jean Davis, is now finding ways to rectify his other problem, loneliness. And we saw this nicely painted rock. So we picked it up and it says post on Facebook, Berks County Rock. So I investigated and found that there's a whole community of folks who paint rocks and place them around the county and then they, uh, somebody finds them, they post it on Facebook and put it someplace else. With the discovery of Berks County Rocks, Davis began painting Norm Rocks to raise awareness about those suffering from dementia. On the back, I put a little message to say, please send a message to my dad if you find this rock. You know, he's elderly and he really would like to hear from you. She's even got Norman on the act. It keeps him engaged. I bring him over here, he paints the rocks, and I'll finish him up, and then we drive around and we hide them at various places. The village tavern is one. <laughs> Complete with a tiny mug of beer. My dad's been known to drink a beer or two in his time. The support for Norm came pouring in. Well, I must have 50 pages of messages. He had tears in his eyes. Uh, he was so pleased with all the nice things that people were saying. Stories like Norm's are the reason Jennifer Shore started the Berks County Rocks Facebook group. I wanted to find something that would continue giving all year round. She took notice to people painting kindness rocks around the country and in February of 2017 began doing so in her community in Reading and the surrounding area. The Reading Museum is definitely one of the top spots. Now, more than 35,000 people are painting, hiding, tracking, and posting rocks found throughout Berks County. I never anticipated that it would get this big. Some have traveled beyond county lines. From Bermuda, from Mexico, from Colorado, from Alaska. In Boyertown, Angela Motter and her young daughters created a kindness rock garden at the end of their driveway. We just started painting kindness rocks ourselves and then we just left them out here. And they've noticed people from different towns making their way over. It changes every day. People like come by on a regular basis. Thanks to a little help from PBS 39, a norm rock is now part of the ladies collection. I think it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to have people uh, want to take an interest in, in you and, 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 and feel as if they want to connect with you. And the group hopes to expand their rock gardens to include people with sensory issues and learning disabilities. To learn more about Berks County Rocks, visit WLVT.org. Reporting in Berks County, Brittany Sweeney, PBS 39 News Tonight.